Just one week after the first day back in the classroom, the Glens Falls City School District is already making changes. And this comes after an incident yesterday morning involving a replica gun and follows another incident just last Thursday of a student with a BB gun. Caitlin Erla tells us about the measures now in place to address safety concerns. Safety measures are already being implemented here in the Glens Falls City School District. As you can see behind me, there's an increased police presence here on campus, and now students are getting their backpacks checked before they're allowed in the building. The students that are uh, the perpetrators, <laughs> yes, this is serious. We're not joking around. This is what middle and high school students will now see every single morning when they get to school. Let's face it, I, if you don't look in someone's backpack, you have no idea what they're carrying. In. Superintendent Dr. Chrislyn Dangler says it will take longer for students to get to class, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I imagine some kids will start to trickle in a little earlier instead of waiting till the last minute. That might help. Um, but there's going to be multiple extra hands on help, um, especially at the high school, so that we don't impinge on the instructional time. School officials now on high alert after a student brought a BB gun to school last Thursday. And yesterday, this toy replica gun fell from another student's backpack. Well, I'm sure it was very scary, and they were like, you know, that you probably say, did I see what I think I saw? You know, that, that whole, like, can this really be happening? Other than the mandatory bag checks every day before students entered the building, the other big change is now every student has an assigned locker where they need to keep their bags throughout the day. They cannot carry them from class to class, something some students say will be hard to adjust to. I don't really like it because everything I ever needed is in this backpack. And while, well, yeah, that makes my shoulders hurt, but now I have to go from like the third floor down to the first where my thing is and I have to go all the way over. While it's a little discouraging that there have already been two scares during the first week of school, one thing is for sure. Actions speak louder than words. I feel like that it's good that they're trying to make changes to keep everybody safe and uh, like they're sending emails to the parents. Like now, like they're right on top of that.